Mrs. Blue Peter, so of course we've got some snakes in the studio. Barry, come on! Uh, I've just remembered I've got a dentist appointment. I've got to go. Come I've got to go on! Another... Okay. Look, look who's over here. It's our wildlife expert, Blowfish. Nice to see you, Blowfish. Always good to see you, Blowfish. How are you doing? It's good to be back. Them. Good to be back. Ah. Right, what have we got here? We have got snakeies. And these are some corn snakes. I've got one for you, Helen. Oh, they're only little. Hang on, before we start handling these, are they venomous? No, these guys are not venomous and they're also oh cute. They are cute. Yeah. Why are they different colours if they're the same type of snake? Wowza. Well, they're kind of like the uh, cats and dogs that we have in our houses. We've uh, we bred them to have these colours and as far as the snakes today go... Ooh, I think I've got a wood snake here. <laughs> as far as the snakes today go, these are just little babies compared to what we're going to get up to. He's actually in the police force now in his special branch. I think I've got it on my top. <laughs> This one's actually blending in with my top. Has it gone into my top? Yes, he has, but uh, I'm sure I can convince him to come back out. Or maybe no, like not. Yes, like he is. Telly. There we go. Well, we, obviously, when, when we found out you were coming in, we found out about what these guys eat. Now, it doesn't seem possible, but apparently they eat... They eat Helens, <laughs> didn't you know? <laughs> but they eat rodents. Look at the size of the... I mean, that is just... Oh. I should have said, if you're eating your tea, I do apologise for that right now, but that is that is some snack he's having there, isn't it? You certainly do. I mean, uh, rodents are small fry to these guys. I mean, this is uh, a milk snake here, so uh, he could be really quite nasty. I mean, if you look at the banding on him there, you might think, venomous snake. Yeah, because well, he's brightly coloured. He is. Beautiful colour. Beautiful colours, but there's an old rhyme that we can remember to prove that this snake is safe. Red then black, venom lack, red then yellow will kill a fellow. And as you see, we're red then black. Yeah, we're happy with red and black for now, that's good. But again, we're still, we're still talking uh, small fry around here. I think we need to... Uh, I think we need to up it a little bit you here. Always save the best to last, don't you, love? Oh yes. <laughs> now this, this is a real snake. Wow, this okay. is a reticulated python, oh, and well, this essentially is the longest snake on the planet. How long do they get? Well, there's one in Oregon that's 7.6 meters. Yeah, we have a photo. Okay. Look at that. That is incredible. That is a real snake. This isn't something that's been made by a local creative project. That is a genuinely large 7.6 metre snake. It's incredible. They are cracking, cracking beasts. What does reticulated mean? Bush? Reticulated refers to the, the patterning on it, so it means kind of net-like. So you can see he's got this wonderful camouflage. They are, again, a beautiful skin, aren't they? And they feel so smooth and slick. You expect them to be slimy and they're not. They do. Pe people always reckon the snake's going to be slimy, but they're very, very dry. Oh, and they're so cute. They are gorgeous. I like how they get the names as well. You've brought some of this corn in down here, haven't you? Which is actually how the corn snake oh. got I did. I didn't get a chance to show you it due to the, uh, the snake's attraction to Helen. But if you look <laughs> at the, uh, the patterning on the corn there, it's yeah. exactly the same. It's just the same as, as the, the bottom, patterning. isn't it? Yeah, there we go, Barney. Look at that. Right, really beautiful. Is. This python is hissing. Do I need to be worried by that? <laughs> nah, she's fine. She's just checking it out. You'd be worried if it started to kind of size you up because although you might not be able to see, the front of this snake has something very, very clever. Around the lips of its mouth, it's got these pits and they are heat sensitive. They're picking up infrared radiation. They're basically, it's the same thing that you see in the movies when someone puts on the special goggles and they can see the outlines. Oh, they so the snake hunts in exactly the same way. As soon as you start introducing gadgets, it even gets cooler, doesn't it? They are it's clever, amazing. clever creatures. Oh, yeah. Snakes are superb. Blue, Blowfish, thank you so much for bringing these guys yeah, in. No worries. It would take me a while to wrestle this guy off, so I'm just going to borrow him for a minute while we talk <laughs> over here. Because